published 2013 est, the 18th of November 2017 updated 2014 est, the 18th of November 2017 Scotland coach Gregor Townsend was visibly gutted at his side's failure to turn a test full of exciting rugby into a first ever victory over New Zealand, but he was full of praise for their performance in a pulsating defeat. Townsend never came close to beating the All Blacks in a 10-year playing career but his men played with a bristling ambition that had the world's number one side struggling to discover any rhythm at a rocking Murray field last night. However, after holding Scotland to a 33 half-time score, despite the hosts' great play, the All Blacks bided their time and struck with three second-half tries from Cody Taylor, Damian McKenzie and Bowden Barrett. Scotland coach Gregor Townsend was visibly gutted at his side's failure to beat New Zealand. Scotland hit back with tries from Johnny Gray and Hugh Jones but when Barrett denied Stuart Hogg a dramatic late score, it was game over. Townsend admitted afterwards, Emotions are still pretty high. Proud would be the major emotion. The effort and the ability shown by the players throughout the game was outstanding, the courage and the fitness to keep on going and be accurate with 10 minutes to go was great to see, encouraging for the future. Also, the belief within the squad that, even though New Zealand had scored a try and we were down by 12 points, we're going back there. Townsend hailed his troops after the hard-fought match saying it was a brilliant test match that is great. I think it generated a brilliant atmosphere, one of the best I have experienced watching a game, and it was a brilliant test match, it was intense, competitive and we're disappointed that we had a chance at the end. We had a lot of pressure in that second half, lots of territory, we won a lot of penalties, close to the line, so to not get that final try is disappointing but it was a huge effort from our players and we can take a lot from that game, his opposite number, Steve Hansen, agreed, and paid tribute to Townsend and the Scotland team. He stated, I thought it was a great game. Scotland really stood up and were counted on in the end, so were we, but that was no surprise to us, we expected what we got. Saturday's five-point Murrayfield defeat is closest Scotland come to beating Kiwis since 1983. Scotland have been improving over the last 1,218 months and that was an impressive performance. The people that understand the game will know that Scotland played particularly well. They're a team on the rise and World Rugby has got some really good teams, which is, I reckon, really exciting. Everyone was telling us how they were getting bored with this being dominant. Well, they'll just have to go away, have a cup of tea and have a good think about that. Sonny Bill Williams of New Zealand is tackled by Hamish Watson during Scotland's valiant loss. Scotland added two new caps to their roster, Luke Hamilton and Byron McGuigan joining Daryl Marfo, Jamie Barty, George Turner and Chris Harris from last week's win against Samoa, but that was also an indication of how far into the ranks Scotland have had to reach due to injuries. They will have more injury worries, with Hamish Watson, Hamilton, Xander Fagerson and Marfo all being replaced with injuries in this test match, but Townsend remains confident that his squad has the ability to complete a home and away double over. Australia when they pitch up for the final autumn series test match at Murrayfield on Saturday, the Aussies will be aiming to banish the Twickenham Blues from yesterday and gain revenge for the Sydney defeat in the summer.